Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Zheng Jiang playthrough where, well, you might notice straight away, things have, um, have changed slightly and we have gone on a couple of turns, I do apologise, um, not on purpose, I will add, but, um, basically we, we, we captured a couple more bits of territory here, we have lost some troops, and we, uh, we did capture here, but we've given it back to get peace, um, Basically, it was a couple of hectic turns. Um, it was mostly auto resolves. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't record it, but I, I'm not confident enough I'd manage to do it again. So, um, yeah, that's why we've gone on a couple of turns. As I said, I do apologize. I'm going down for this because I want the extra farm buildings, which we will start getting access to, he says. I also want to push up here. And I can get that one now. Um, ooh. Because I also want the really good archers. Because, really good archers. Um. The Onyx Dragons, which aren't meant to be spectacular. But I've got to go through quite a bit to get them. Oh. We've already got that one. Um. What else can I get? So actually, there's not that much to get through. Um, or oh, reducing character salaries, yes. Okay, so I want to push to the quotas of excellence to reduce character salaries. Because that, that sounds huge to me. And um, we'll also go through that for extra trade influence. Oh, wow. This is basically the income tree, and I've not been paying attention to it. Hang on, did I just see another type of archer in there? Um, oh, yeah, crossbow units there. Uh, 92 ranged. But crossbows are, I've discovered why I don't like crossbows. They're really short ranged. They're good. Um, so, yeah, we're going to push up that way a little bit for now. So, and as I said, so we captured some extra territory here, including the trade Whoa. port. We are quite weak. Lady Liu does now only have two territories that I'm aware of, which is uh, good and bad. And um, Duchy of Wu, I believe, is now part of our coalition. Scarily. Hates me, but is part of my coalition. So, um, let us find common ground. I have still been um, doing my age-old tactic of throwing stuff at other factions to make everybody try and like me and to try and get money. Wang Dang has leveled up again. Um, I'm going to push to this one so we can get the uh, Wisdom of River debuff. Um, and that's quite nice as well. So he's, he's one of my armies which is still left and reasonably powerful. I'm keeping him back here. Um, Oh, we do also have those new shiny units as well, um, which I can recruit. And these guys need to, they're going to combine, actually. Um, to give ourselves one good army, and they can pull into there. Obviously, we're going to need to level up Bay Height as well. Uh, I, I just like having the trade port, because that makes us... Oh, uh, well, good income and ups our reserve capacity. As I said, we, we need to keep building our empire. Oh, wow, we've lost some administrators. I did say we'd lost some troops, so um, let's see. Reduces construction cost, extra growth. It's the bottom bit which does. So he seems much better, actually. Um, more growth. Um... Hmm. Who is least happy? Him. Okay. I think we've got multiple positions to fill at the moment, unfortunately. Um, you can go to Tanshin, which is one of our new territories, which is making a lot of money. And there we go. I can put multiple people in the same place, which does feel a little weird. You can go to Dong. And, ooh, 
See? No, I can't put more people there. Okay. Uh, where's making the most money, which I don't have somebody in? Uh, here. So what's scary is two of my new positions down here seem to be some of our most wish, profitable Lord? regions because of their trade ports, basically. So I want to do keep them. Oh, this place isn't happy at the moment. Um, and neither's here. So maybe I want to move there. And then again, we are sailing down as well quickly because, uh, yeah, lots going on. Um, keep this how are you guys doing? Yeah, they're at war with a few people. Basically, I don't trust the peace treaty to hold. Um, as soon as it falls, we are going to take... No. Greetings. Um... Yeah, we are going to finish off Lady Liu, though taking this bit might be hard, but we'll take this territory quite easily. Uh, well, I say quite easily. They've got quite a lot there, so maybe we won't. Um, you are actually not going to go that way. You are going to come this way as well, just to keep an eye on our defences. No, you can get there quickly enough. Um, uh, that, that might be why we're having some problems. We do have some burnt down buildings still, because we have only just taken a lot of these places. And that's because here is about to, so let's exempt here from tax for a couple of turns. Not making much money off it either. And we are sailing down the river. Why is my lord not the lord? Ooh. Uh, Machao. Um, if I reject... Who is Machao? Hmm. He is very powerful, actually. Um, as he does control the Han Empire at the moment. Um, and he likes me. So actually, I want him in the coalition. Your choice. Oh. Machao rejected it, but that will have kept uh, Liu Bei on side. I could potentially drop all of this and form a coalition with Machao, but he's far too far away for that really to be worth us doing. Um, I do find it funny that Wei has been... Oh! Yes, no, you did see that. That wasn't the thing. Wei is part of... I, I, just, I just find it hilarious that Wei is part of uh, the... Uh, everybody's territory now. So a big thing here is we've got that. Um, how will this be going if we tax it? So there you go. They're now happy if we tax them. Uh, yes, food production there. I, I do need more food production. Oh, here is having public order issues too. Destroy mm. corruption. Welcome, my lord. Your present. All will know the name Jian Jiang. Why is she not? My lord, how can I serve? Bandits are Odd. less corrupt than nobles. Embarking. You can pull up into there just to keep an eye on it. What is causing that? Uh, population. Um. Oh, we're having eight minus eight k population growth. Is it because this city is not big enough? No, we've got one point five million. Uh, it's a large city, so its max population is what? Um... Oh yeah. So actually, leveling here up would be quite important, which is quite expensive, but it will also use a lot more food, and that's the problem with leveling things up. So we're going to save some money for another for a turn, so we can level that city up, which will help that. He says while he's looking at this. I can afford to do that. Attention! The conqueror returns. I bid you welcome, my lord. Ooh. Let's get some yellow dragons. 
So it's good all round, good solid defensive unit. It's meant to be an assault unit, but it's very defensive. A lot of toughness in there. So, oh no, no, I'm not recruiting them this turn. We're not at war. I want to concentrate on getting everything else sorted out first. We are going to rejig my army slowly, but right now we don't need to. So just keeping everybody happy. I've also been trying to be a little less. Um... Oh. Uh, the Duchy of Wu is requesting military alliance. Uh, who shats? So, um... We believe this will meet you. I'm gonna stay on the side of Liu Bei pretty much continuously because he's cl my close ally and I want to get him as friendly as possible. Um... Yeah, you see? That's why I didn't want to get involved. The Duchy... If Wu requested the Duchy of Han to join their war. Greetings. Who are you at war with? Um Oh wow, so he actually joined. I'm I'm not necessarily keen on that war. Um I would still like to turn us into an alliance, but oh Ah. He'd accept it, but it would break a deal, which is a little annoying. Let's actually have a look at our quick deals. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Trade agreements. Oh, it is you. Oh God, no. Uh, hmm. Make it quick. So that's a one-off payment. We'll get 800... 836 a turn from it. And it will start making him happier. I'll accept that. Because long Very run, that'll well. be good. I have ju do realise I've just spent the money I needed to uh, build up my city. Because I'm a derp. But, much better income now. Let's have a look at what else we can get now we've done that. Because we still have... Oh, see, I can't change much out at the moment. Um, this will be short. Oh, God, no. Hang on, no, that was... Talk, traitor. That'll do for now. Um, so we're actually making money above and beyond the diplomacy from the looks of it. Um, Serve in so you're going to come and pull into Henai. I would quite like to make Henai my capital. Bring news of what occurred um, in my absence. But that is expensive to do. You can definitely do it. Where do I do it? Yeah. It's very expensive to do. Um, just because it's more central. Up here in the mountains is our traditional capital, but not necessarily the most useful place to maintain. Glory awaits the brave and... Uh... But see, that would also get me at war with Machao, who does have close borders to me. Um, uh, As you wish. For now, I'm rejecting. I basically don't trust Lady Liu. I, I don't want to be having to fend armies off the other end of my territory. Uh, because if we are fending armies over there, Lady Liu, let's be honest, we know full well what will happen. Lady Liu will 
betray me, she will stab me in the back and she will cause me a lot of damage and a lot of pain. Oh, uh, not against me. The person's loyalty is unshakable. Nice. Cultivate patience. Oh god. Right, let's level there up. So this place is now going up. We do have a military presence here, which which does help. I will be honest with that. Let the horse kill um, I want industry, but I do also want to keep pushing my food production up. What else can I build? What are you telling me off for here? Uh, because we're low public order, but we're fixing that now. Okay. There we go, we can swap that around now. It is time to reflect on events. Ooh. Extra authority. My lord, That'll probably be tell better me for the wish, commander. Do you have orders for me? What does authority do? Oh wow, satisfaction faction wide. Bring me my spoils. So actually her having that is good. Um, it's not a huge amount, but, you know, that ups everybody's satisfaction slightly, which is good. We are slowly losing some infamy now, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, our prestige will slowly increase anyway, but... We probably do want to go to war relatively soon, but I'm in no... As I said, I'm in no rush. I'm not trusting the fact they are just trespassing on my territory everywhere. Um, we are definitely a power now, thank God, finally. Uh, if we don't have a war with Lady Liu soon, we will probably take, uh, we will probably do a quick lightning war here to capture this territory, as we did mention. Oh no! <gasps> Who's died? Who's died? Who's died? I mean, we obviously want another strategist. Oh, Zhang Chan there. Um, keep old retinue. He is a legendary character. So Zhang Chan. Embrace impulse. Uh, Ma Chao has commanded their vassal to join the war. That's why we didn't join that. Uh, Lady Liu has gone to war with them. Interesting. Okay, so who died? Not Wang Dang. Um, he died. I tried to marry somebody else, to be fair. The conqueror returns. A bit concerned our, our lords still don't have kids. <laughs> um, Leveling here into a small city would give it much more defences. What do you wish to know? Um... I do want to push our food up still. So yeah, we need a reform for that. Um, oh wow, we need that reform for that. Uh, we'll start working there soon. We've got other things I want to do first, to be fair. Um, Remain supple. See, this place is really good for food production, so I don't really want to be destroying any buildings. I could burn that, but again, I don't want to burn the industry. 
Um, you know what? No, I'm going to keep that there because there's still people around. Um, but I definitely don't need to be upping any of those. I mean, all those buildings do up, up right things. Uh, he's like Hanzui, Hanzin. Everybody will accept. They will decline, but we will offer it anyway. As you wish. Basically, I'm voting in the wet same way as my as my coalition members, to, just to try and keep them friendly with us. Because if we can keep them friends, that's good. Long run, I do want to form an alliance with Liu Bei. Um, just because he's another reasonable sized power block nearby. And if we're in an alliance, anybody who declares war on me, declares war on him. Obviously, it, it does potentially limit me declaring war. So we not, not necessarily want to rush that. Faction succession. Lady Liu has been replaced by Yuan Ji. Um, Yuan Ji commanded a vassal to go to war. The Duchy of Wei. Oh, wow. It's Liu... Ooh. I don't need to look at that. Uh, unnex unnecessary delays. Yeah. Reduce construction time somewhere. Is Tao Tao dead? <gasps> Tao Tao is Let dead. It's Tao P, the bullish warrior. Now, interesting. I really do want these guys to start breaking off soon. Ooh. Glad to see you. I can actually get some money out of them for it. There we go. Very well. Got a nice one-off payment there, and that will have upped our income nicely. And we are at our max level of trade deals now. Oh, we. Oh, that'll be the person who died. Um. See, now it's not showing the ones where I can't. You can go to Henai. Okay. Does this actually move? I don't think this moves when I'm not at war. I think the way I gain prestige is by fighting. But right now, I I can't be fighting. I would meet with my advisors. Bring me a report on my holdings. We do have good food production now, so I can potentially and what's our reserve? Um Yeah, it gives us extra income. Let us level up our mines then. Pull up a tool depot for mine, please. Um I don't care about your thing. Let's level the mine straight up for the extra income. Here we go, so we're pushing up there, but this 10%, minus 10% character incomes is going to be very nice. Uh, so that's reducing down all of our things. Because um, we do pay 1.8k in salaries, so that will have been, what, 2k before that, so it's an extra 200 a turn. Which is definitely not an amount to be sniffed at. We seem to be having a period of I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. If I say what I was about to say, everything will suddenly disintegrate and we will die. <laughs> I am going to build my armies a bit now because we've got a reasonable income. We've got lots of trade deals flowing. Um, 
if I could build my income up a bit, it will act, oh, sorry, I build my armies up a bit, it just gives us a bit more might. Um, more wars going on. These wars are potentially good for us because they may come and deal with them, with her. Uh, you know, UNG for me. Once again, I feel the warmth of hope. Oh, I should have put those in this one. What we lack in this army is anti-cav, um, to be fair. Um, let's get some hidden axes. Oh, not there. In fact, yeah, here. Because they're a good offensive unit still. Um, we've still got some cheaper units in here. Yeah, but in general, that's a bit of a nicer setup. Let the horse fill um, with laughter. Gather everyone. There are plans to draw up. Where are my treasures? I would like some more of those in our army. That's it. We've got two champions here, and that is a big... That is something we really shouldn't be doing. Anyway, that'll do for now. Ooh, we leveled up. Nice. Poisoned Blade. Can use if not engaged in a pending duel. Uh, target if general. Missile attack. Okay, anyway, we'll, we'll get that. So I only have three stacks at the moment, and I, that's not really enough to fight a war with. I can build up stacks quite quickly if needs be, which is why I'm being a little careful at the moment. I know I'm definitely militarily currently weaker that said a threat that must be ended oh so talking of that there we go oh and call for aid so obviously the guys who are already at war with them will join us um hopefully he doesn't appear to have called anybody else in so we should be able to take his close territory to us and then, unfortunately, it is a naval expeditionary bit expedition to get the next territory. Uh, so we're going to dig in for now and position ourselves. I do need to be aware that a lot of these guys could easily be called in quite quickly. Right. Um, thankfully, not against me. So we have an army here. I must refuse. Conqueror returns. Obey instinct. Nothing will stop save. us. Towards victory. I have nothing Spread here. In all directions. Okay, that seems Celebrate. very foolish of them. Loot and occupy. Be repaid. For the extra infamy to level ourselves up a bit. Um, it is time to reflect on events. Avoid diversions. Well, we're heading to the sea. Always forward. See, they've definitely got armies down here. And they are definitely going to be... Oh my good 
God, Wu is huge. Unfortunately, Han Shu did not join this. Welcome, friend. <sighs> if I can sail up and take their out and finish them off, guys, so they've got no territory, we can bring this to an end once and for... Oh. No, that's not mine. I can bring this to an end once and for all. Oh, wow, he's got territory there? <sighs> Anyway, guys, we are going to leave this one here for now. I'm going to sail up to try and take their capital. Um, I might not keep it, but well, well, we'll certainly take it. And then we'll march down here. But hopefully we can get, cause them to avoid. I'm not going to pop an army together until I know where I need it, guys. They are inevitably going to be pulling allies into this. And the allies are going to be the problem. But if I can get up there and take their capital, that will hopefully, you know... Hopefully we'll be able to finally get them broken because they'll be all the way over there and hopefully they will eventually break As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have been enjoying this hectic hectic playthrough um, Please feel free to pop any comments in the comment section or jump over to my discord and say hi There is a link to my discord in the comments and the description as well as links to my Twitter my patreon and my affiliations with overclockers and humble bundle games So please check them out. Thank you very much for your time guys <laughs>